Yeah. You like it? Um, Imagine this <laughs> in your home. I mean, not just one picture, but everywhere, every inch of your home covered, because that is the reality for Mr. Doodle, a real person uh, who, as his name suggests, has covered everything in his house, from his bedding to his microwave, to the light switches, to the ceiling, all of it with doodle art. You're not sure, are you, Sal? I... It's quite busy, that's all. <laughs> yeah, just, Sunglasses? Yeah. It is, in fact, a labour of love that's taken two years, 400 cans of spray paint and more than 2,000 pen nibs. Tim is in Kent <laughs> at the Doodle household for us this morning. Morning, Tim. Wow, it's everywhere. Yes, good morning to you. Busy is one way to describe this. It is a living room unlike any other and indeed the whole house has been covered in doodles and look we've even got an, a doodled image of you john and sally presenting bbc breakfast now it is the work of this man here sam otherwise known as mr doodle and it has been his lifelong ambition to live in a doodled house we'll be talking in a minute but if you're not familiar with this man's work here's a little recap hello there mr doodle here it started when he doodled on his parents' furniture. Since then, Sam Cox, or Mr. Doodle as he's known, has turned something some of us might do if we're bored into a very successful career. When I first started playing video games and reading comic books when I was much younger, um, I really sort of fell in love with the characters. I would ask my parents if I could draw on like this table or something like that, and they'd eventually let me, after a bit of persuading, turning these 3D objects into sort of works of doodle art. And today I'm going to doodle a um, wormy type thing. With a huge following on social media, Mr Doodle's videos get millions of views. When you're doodling, what's going through your mind? It's just such a great process. You feel almost like an out-of-body experience. You're just indulging yourself in this free-flowing state of creation and it's just the best thing anyone can do, I think. I've just bought this house. Sam's childhood dream was to live in a completely doodled home. <laughs> Big buzzes of doodles. Almost three years after he bought it, it's mission accomplished. The bedroom is actually the first room that I started when I began doodling over the house. Uh, all the drawings in this room are themed around lots of sleepy characters. So you're going to wake up every morning and see this? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is sort of <laughs> paradise for me. So you're actually going to cook on this? Um, well, I'd like to, but I'm not actually sure that any of this is workable after we've painted a doodle on it. Right, does your wife know that? She's not totally aware of that yet. That's where you'll be eating your pot doodle? Yeah, absolutely. Now, this might not be everyone's cup of tea. In fact, it might even make your head spin. But the popularity of Mr. Doodle's work has soared internationally. In 2020, he was the world's fifth most successful artist aged under 40 at auction. One of his pieces sold for just under one million US dollars. And some people have spoken about you in the same breath as Banksy. What's that like? I really love Banksy's work, but I try to be uh, different to him in a way because I don't want my work to have any political meaning. It's meant to just be joyous, fun, happy, non-political doodles. A home like no other. A unique approach to DIY. Doodle it to yourself. As design themes go, it is most certainly bold of that we can all agree now it looks completely random there are actually themes so for example here in the kitchen there's a doodle here of a, a chef type character here are the guys themselves the couple who own this house sam and his wife elena wow a lot of people will be watching this sam and thinking what on earth have you done to this house how much time and money have you spent on this convince them that it's worth it well, I mean, it's just been my lifelong dream to doodle a house. Like, I loved doodling ever since I was a little kid. And to buy a house and finally cover it with my cartoon creations is just my favourite thing I've ever done. And, um, yeah, I just encourage anyone to do anything they want to their houses and make them into their own canvases. What have the neighbours said? Uh, the neighbours have been quite supportive, actually, yeah. Surprisingly, uh, they're kind of on board with it. 
Um, and they haven't seen the inside yet, but uh, we can't wait to give them a tour and show them everything I've been doing. Well, if they're watching, they're getting a tour of that now. Now, Elena, in the report, um, Sam was saying that you didn't know that some of the kitchen appliances might not work given they've been doodled on. How do you feel about that? I feel fine, actually. The kettle is working and then we have lots of takeaways down the road, so we're good. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> now, you've doodled with your house. What more? Where, where are you going to take this? I really think the possibilities of doodling are endless. Um, I'd like to take it as big as possible, so I'm always looking for the next bigger and better project, really. Now, you mentioned that it's almost like mindfulness for you. That actually, doodling has this kind of calming effect. How does that work? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, for me, just creating my own characters, building my own universe, drawing and watching the things mould and, and take form, it's just the most relaxing and satisfying feeling anyone could ever have. I'd really recommend it to anyone, really. OK, well, this is certainly a place unlike any other. Now, I feel like, you know that show Grand Designs when Kevin MacLeod does a kind of sum up as to what you think? So I feel I should say, guys, you made a very bold choice. <laughs> Well done. I won't ask you about whether you went over budget or anything like that because it's none of my business. And hey, you know, if it works for you, if this makes you feel better, then who am I to say otherwise? I'm not sure if it's everyone's cup of tea, to be honest, but hey, you're just certainly <laughs> different. John and Sally, for now, doodaloo. <laughs> doodaloo. A very bold choice, a very understated there, Tim. It's great. Tim, you, you need to get working on your shirt. Yeah, I feel like I'm slightly out of place there, aren't I? Maybe I'll work the next hour or so, I'll do some shapes or something like that. Yeah, that's good. Help me out, can't you? Doodle away, get it personalised. See you in an hour, that'd be good. Thank you. Imagine waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the curtains drawn. Yeah, perhaps. The, it's the doodle flakes on the table that got me. Uh, yeah. Uh, do say, what is the headline? <laughs> we need more, don't we? We need more doodles. Tim is there. We're, we're, we can't quite believe the sight of this, Tim. What's it like to be there? I was going to say, you can't believe it. I'm actually here. I'm living this right now. Well, it is certainly unlike any other home I've ever been to. I mean, it all feels completely random. There are actually themes in the various rooms. Here, for example, the theme is Noah's Ark, as you do. Animals going in two by two. But let's have another quick chat with Sam himself, the man, Mr Doodle. Sam, we've had quite a reaction this morning on BBC Breakfast as people have been taking in what you've done to this house. Firstly, what have the neighbours said? Uh, well, the neighbours, um, they're actually we're quite surprised. They're actually quite on board with what I've done. Uh, they're quite excited about everything and they can't wait to come and have a look inside. But they've seen the outside and they think it's pretty cool. OK, Sam, thanks ever so much indeed. It has really garnered quite a reaction. But, John, Sally, look, here is you in doodle form. Um, Mr Doodle's created this for you. I think something you've never seen before. John, <laughs> Sally, BBC Breakfast from the house of Mr Doodle. Doodly. Thank you so <laughs> much. Brilliant. I don't think we've ever looked so good. Have you ever been doodled before? Or as animated. First time for everything, John. There we go. <laughs> it's time for us to doodle off. <laughs> uh, that's it from us from Brexit.